After starting with single sign-on yesterday, today we will continue with creating Google credentials. We will then enter these credentials into our project. Creating Google credentials is what we do in Google Cloud. Select the APIs and Services section and select Credentials. Then click Create Credentials to create a new set of credentials. You select OAuth Client ID here. For application type, select Web Application. You can choose the name yourself. The only thing left to do is to insert the redirect URL. Click on Add URL and enter the following in the window. HTTP forward slash forward slash localhost 8080 slash login slash OAuth 2 slash code slash Google. Then click Create and you will get a new window with your client ID and client secret. You have to copy these data and enter them in the application properties file of our project. Back in Eclipse, we first need to set the client ID and client secret. Fill in the application properties file. Because Google works with a different kind of user, we need to make a small adjustment in the security filter chain. Here we need to change this role to as any authority. With the properties, role user, and OIDC user. Now we can start our project and test it. In our browser window we first look at our welcome screen. We get the answer we expect. Then we go to user and like in the previous video we get the login screen with the form login and OAuth2 login. Click on Google. Now you get a login screen from Google here you can log in with your Google email account. After we log in, we get the user screen with welcome user and the Google user ID. The form login part also still works. To test this, we open a new private screen and open user again. Again, we get the login screen and now log in at the user account. As you can see, everything works as expected. So that's it for today. Thank you. Like. Comment. Share and subscribe.